A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. For in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely. For my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. Verbum Domini. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Sancti Evangelii secundum Marcum. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. 
There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he, and to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Verbum Domini. We might have at times people who ask us questions and we realize that the question is not the question of a disciple, one who wants to learn, but one who wants to trick you up, or especially as teenagers, we're experts at trying to you know, trick our parents into saying something wrong or letting us do what we want. But this scribe here is doing something similar, but it's done in malice. So when they come to Jesus, they're asking him, what is the first of the commandments? Not because they, they want to know <laughs> so they can follow it, but because as a scribe in the Pharisees, they're, they set themselves up as the experts. They're the ones who can say about Jesus, well, this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about, so quit following this guy. And so Jesus, you know, he knows that. Any one of us, when we recognize someone's trying to trick us in questions, we feel that in our hearts. And at other times he said, he, he'll point that out to them. You know, what are you thinking in your hearts? But here Jesus does something else. He seems to just answer the question. He says, the first is this, the Lord our God, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So the question, which is the first of the commandments? And Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, you. So yes, Deuteronomy, the Ten Commandments, we have that. So you, 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 you. But here Jesus is replying to this scribe, you know, to the question. So turning it around on the person and saying, you right before me, are you loving the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, mind, and strength? So everything that we are, our body, our heart, the very center of our person, that place, our soul, where we have contact with God, with everything. Do we love the God, the Lord our God with everything? The Lord is God, the Lord alone. That's uh, the revelation that there is one God, you know, and that he is God. He's not just like one of us. And so, we have come from him. Everything we have is created by him and, and sustained by him, and we are going to God. But that's not enough, so to speak. So everything is not enough. <laughs> so when we give everything, all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, all our strength back to God, there's still these other people in the world. <laughs> and so... What are we supposed to do with them? And so Jesus said this, if we forget or if we think, okay, this is enough. I can just love God in my little hole. I can go into my secret room, as Jesus said, and pray to my Father in secret, and that's enough. He said, no, the second is like that, like this. So the scribe said, what is the first of the commandments? He doesn't ask about the second. Jesus says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So those who are, we are placed here with, whether by 
our family or just by being a human community that we have to love them and we have to love them as our neighbor. Later on, of course, we have the story, well, who then is my neighbor? And Jesus gives the example of the Good Samaritan. Again, in scripture, we have um, First Peter and, and John about being loved by God and how this love should lead us to love of our neighbor. So in First John, the love of God has been revealed in that he has first loved us. And how can we be loving God if we do not, who, how can we love God who we do not see if we do not love the brother who we do see? So it's, it's much greater than just the golden rule, do unto others as you wish to be done unto you. Yes, that's there. So loving the neighbor as yourself. So as yourself. So as we want to be loved, so much and want to even to love and need to be taught how to love um, so God does well the last would be the the very example of Jesus so Jesus who love is tested to the limit and in the passion and gives himself fully over in obedience to God and becomes in this a source of, of life for us, that the precious blood of Christ has poured upon us and we're opened up to love in a, a deeper, a greater way. And for us as well, he offers another commandment. He says, love one another as I have loved you. So kind of bumping up number two into number one and mixing those two together that only in that experience, in that dwelling in God's love, can we truly live out this, this second commandment, to love your neighbor as yourself, to love others with the love which comes from God. So to enter into that as we open our hearts to love, in prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, open our hearts to love and, and, and divesting ourselves of the weight of sin through confession so that we can truly enter into the passion purely <laughs> and with a great love for our God and a great love that always shows itself uh, merciful and kindly to our neighbors.